Okay, so did we discover it's Di- it's Dia, right? Dia. Dia? Yeah. Oh yeah, cuz it's cuz it's not the way you say diamond, so it's Dia. Okay. Yeah. Dia gives Noel a piggyback ride to the field. Is it I think that's you. You're your Dia. No, I Okay. The entire school is out here now. Or am I? Sup, homies? You! I can't believe you've done this. I ought to report you to the authorities. But you won't. What, you think I won't just be... Because we're f- f- fellow acquaintances? Fellow acquaintances? She was totally about to say friends. I was not. Admit it. Friends, friends, friends. I hate you more than it's physically possible right now. Oh, come on. What did you want me to do? Travel back in time and change Chinese culture to not see academic achievement as a moral virtue? The one who's getting saved doesn't get to complain. You broke the law! How can I go not complain? Is anyone on this earth truly innocent? You can't distract me with fake deep statements. <laughs> you don't appreciate anything I do! Where's my Nobel Peace Prize? Where's my... Thank you, Akarsha. You're awesome. I'm not thanking you for this illicit help that I've never asked for. Were you seriously expecting to be praised? Never have I ever been more embarrassed for my fellow man. I'm a hero. You're not a hero. You scumbag. Disgusting. So you remember where we're at with this, right? So yeah. She pulled the fire alarm. Yeah. Fine. Be that way. I'm sorry. Forgive me? You don't even look remotely sorry. <laughs> she doesn't. I can't help it if I think you're funny when you're mad. Just don't tell on me and we'll call it even. Deal? Akarsha offers her a handshake. Noelle regards it with obvious suspicion. She cautiously releases her grip on Dia's, Dia's shoulder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck that up. At yeah. least Dia's shoulder and reaches out to shake it. Instead of grasping her hand, Akarsha grabs Noelle's wrist. She starts hitting Noelle with her own hand. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? I hate you! You stupid! You should have killed me when you had the chance. Next time, I won't let you off so easy. This is your last warning. She said that last time and the time before that. Power of friendship. A stranger brushes past Akarsha in the crowd. Akarsha gawks after her, placing her hand on her heart. What are we? Wait. Whoa! That looks like... Could she be more gay? I know. <laughs> ah! D- Dia chases after the person. Dia? Where are we going? The person... The person is so short that Dia loses sight of her in the crowd. I lost her. Great, I'm so sleep deprived that I'm literally hallucinating. You're not hallucinating, you're just in love. That night, Dia dreams of the past. Third grade. Whoa, I'm up to bat. Yeah. I get to hit the ball. This is so fun. Hey, look, it's a girl batting. Phew, our team got lucky. Shut up, you dumb, dumb poo poo head. Say one more word and I'll kill you. What? What is a word? Die! A fight broke out in the stands. Min is beating the crap out of an old grandpa. You better watch out, I'm a green belt. Green belt. The other adults are rushing to pull her off of him. Min. Min scrambles down the rafters with everyone chasing after her. I freaking love the Hot Wheels sweatshirt. I'm taking you with me. She grabs Dia's wrist and sprints off with her in tow. Wait, stop. We got away. <laughs> I kidnapped you. Sure. Now we can do whatever we want. Come on, I brought June's bike. 
Min pulls Jin's uh, bike out from the bushes. I'm just gonna fool on my way through that. She mounts the bike and looks at Dia expectantly. You sit on the rear rack. You shouldn't be in the, the one pedal. Shouldn't I be the one pedaling? I'm bigger than you. I'm training for when I get taller than you. That's never gonna happen. You'll be short forever. How do you know? Just you watch. Are you getting on or not? Dia tentatively lowers herself onto the bike rack. So, where do you want to go next? Mm. Home Depot light section? <laughs> what? Home Depot light section. <laughs> What's so great about that? There's so many different lamps in one place. The designs are cool and it's really bright. <laughs> the rest of the store is ordinary, but that one aisle feels like a special place in all the world. It's true, though. I like to pretend I'm furnishing my house and pick my favorites. Hmm. I know it sounds bland. You don't have to. No, let's go. It sounds like a place that'd be boring if I went with my parents, but fun if I go with you. I know what you mean. If you're with someone you like, everywhere is interesting. Which way to Home Depot? Not sure. I haven't been there in years. Too bad. Where should we go instead, then? Let's go to Noelle's house. They won't suspect us there. Well, <laughs> whatever. Noelle's house. We can say hi to Noelle. What? Why? I miss her. You just saw her yesterday. I miss her. Yuck. Come on. You should give her a chance. She's so funny. She looks like at every individual grape before she eats it. <laughs> I know she's kind of aloof, but if, it'd be cool if you were friends. What's aloof mean? It's like cold. She always tries to hide how much she likes you, like a cat. Once you get used to it, it's sort of cute. <laughs> I just hit AJ on the head. AJ, why were you abused horribly by Stacy? Now he's sad. Look at him. He's leaving. <laughs> it was he's an kind accident. to me. He so brought mad. his piggy root to me. Oh, he came over to get a pet, and now he's walking back because he's like, my head got hit. Look at that! How could you do that? He's so pathetic. You kicked him in the head, and he walked uh, over no, to I me. No, I didn't kick him in the head. You kicked him forcefully I, in no, his eyeballs. I gave him the treat, but the treat landed on his head. Yeah, and then he walked over to me and asked me to touch his bruised, battered head. And then he walked back. At, no way, Jesus, at okay. this, Min's expression dramatically sours. If you hate it, it that much, we can go somewhere else. My house. You want to go home already? No, that's not what it meant. You're invited too. We can play tag and eat ice cream. But aren't your parents there? You'll get in trouble if they see me with you. Alright, darn. My parents are really unreasonable about men. I'm actually really not even allowed to talk to her. So stupid. I don't know anything about her, but but just because she has short hair and wears boy clothes, they hate her. Did you have any friends that like your parents hated? No. Oh. I didn't have any friends. <laughs> they were always they always called her a freak. Where should we go instead then? Your house. Your house. We won't be able to get in. My parents came out with my parents came out with me, and I don't have the keys. All oh, right, you're basically a fugitive now. Why do you want to go to my house anyway? You've already been there a bunch of times. Okay, Min. Like, we have given every single possibility. No, no, no. The one uh, thing we didn't choose was to let her decide. So, ah! Because she's in charge. Oh, it's fun seeing where you live. I feel like I learn something new every time I go. Really? Like what? Like you have to sleep in a girly pink blanket while June gets the Hot Wheels one. <laughs> and there's a treadmill in the living room. Remember the time you tried to run in at 10 speed to impress me, fell off, and broke your arm? I, I don't remember that. You must have remembered wrong. And you brush your teeth too hard so your toothbrush bristles look hilarious. They're all flattened. What's so funny about that? I have to make sure I kill the germs. Of course you do. Where should we go instead then? <sighs> Man, you decide. Okay. Then hold on tight. You're not telling me where we're going? It's a surprise. I had a lot of friends that my parents hated. <laughs> Don't invite them over. They're a troublemaker. Blah, blah, blah. After an extreme amount of effort on Min's part, they arrive at a ravine. What? We, we're here. That wasn't even a coherent sentence. 
Are you okay? Yeah. What kind of weakling do you think I am? Her legs must feel like jelly right now, but there's no way she'd ever admit it. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. You're welcome. Anytime. The place is down this hill and through the tunnel. Should I get off? It's too steep to bike down. Yeah, let's run down. Min enthusiastically leaps off the bike and sprints down the hill. The bike is just lying there in the grass. Wait, we can't leave this. Dia picks up the bike and runs after her. Min is waiting at the mouth of the tunnel. I want to show you something on the other side. Let's walk through. No, this is how you get eaten by it. By it? Okay? By Pennywise? Mr. Gray Pennywise is gonna fucking... There's gonna be a balloon and then we die. I don't know. Pennywise is like... The new Pennywise? Kinda... No, I would only fuck Pennywise out in not a tunnel. I would not fuck Pennywise in a tunnel. That's gross. Only, like, if he was outside of the tunnel. Only if he's outside <laughs> the tunnel? I don't, because there's, there's... Listen, there's rules for fucking scary clowns. The thing is, it's not the scary clown that's that's uh, making me go no. It's the, it's the sewage tunnel? It's the sewage tunnel. <laughs> where I'm like, that's gonna be an infection. And I don't like it. I want my vagina to be exposed in sewage air. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of like when they show people like getting frisky on the beach, and I'm like, no, there's sand everywhere. Yeah, that's like you, you ever like go to the bathroom in a porta potty? Like, ugh, like the porta potty air touching your body. Ugh, I don't like it. Blech. No, I would like to have sex with Pennywise in my room or anywhere, but in the. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Question. So, in his Pennywise outfit, or would you want him to wear a different outfit? He can do whatever. I don't care. Just as long as everyone's clean. But, like, the, we're talking about, like, the Bill Sarsgaard Pennywise, not, like, the original Pennywise. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, really scared of clowns, so maybe it would be kind of, like, fun. I'd be like, oh, yeah, it's so scary. Like, ah! Yeah. I mean, because, you know, when clowns are trying to be fun, then it's scary, but when they start being scary... <laughs> But when they start being scary, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> you're not lying to me anymore, clown. Yeah. She peers into the darkness with a hopeful look on her I face. I can't stop thinking of Pennywise like they're gonna die. I, well, yeah. What are you looking for? Skeleton. Should be looking for whatever. Are you scared? Don't worry, I'll protect you. Okay. I'm counting on you then. Yeah! I'll protect you with my life! Min grabs Dia's hand. There's water on the ground. Hold on to me so you don't slip. Yeah, don't worry. We'll float. If I slip like this, you'll just drag me down, dra get dragged down with me. No, I won't. Trust me. God, I really hope like there's some sort of twist where it's like everyone's like, it's a beautiful lesbian game. Tricked. It's actually a fan made. Tricked. It's actually a fan like a uh, an it fan game. Or maybe there's like a secret pat like secret <laughs> passage. It's like. <laughs> You come to like this thing, and it's like if you click like over here on neither of the two options, you end up with Pennywise. God, that'd be such a great Easter egg. Yeah. There's a squirrel scampering up the tree. When it sees Dia staring, it lifts one paw. Whoa! It waved at us. <laughs> Min, it's waving. Min, look. The squirrel just waved at us. <laughs> You're way too excited about this. Then why are you smiling? Because it's cute. Huh? Really, I don't know you like squirrels. I was talking about you. Hee hee hee. Dia's face feels strangely hot. It's kind of, you know, those two kids just ran off. I bet their parents are, like, really upset. Um, It's no. pitch black inside the tunnel. I really, I can't get the idea it's that we're gonna die. pitch black inside the tunnel. If it weren't for Min, Dia actually would be a bit scared right now. Don't worry, Dia. I got this. <laughs> You'll float, too. She stomps her foot. Her sketchers light up. Whoa! Dia is really impressed. And the light, it like lights up Pennywise's face. <laughs> and you he's just like, see like, <laughs> you just see like a little red, like a red balloon and then the light goes out and you're like, oh my god! Yeah, they, she takes a step. Oh man, that's such a good horror thing. She takes a step, light, there's a balloon and then it turns off because, you know. Yeah, because it takes another step, the balloon's closer. Ah! <laughs> another step. And the balloon's bigger. Yeah. <laughs> and then another step, and it pops, and there's blood everywhere. It pops, and there's blood, and then there's, and it's just. And Pennywise then it's Pennywise in the right next flash. 
Teach me how to count to ten. Okay. One. One. Two. Two. After a minute, Min has learned all the numbers up to ten. What? One, two, three, oh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm probably gonna forget it all over again in a few days. Then I'll teach it to you again when it happens. I'll do it over and over forever if you want. I don't mind. God, this is gonna be like, then they're stuck in a time loop. Do you remember, somebody commented and said what language she's speaking and I don't remember. I don't remember either. Shit. Okay, my turn to teach you. I still remember from the last time that... <laughs> that. <laughs> that? This! Yeah, and that! <laughs> That's you. Oh, bloop bloop! Uh, yeah, these, that, too. I forgot to get it again. This! How come you never, you can never remember five? It sounds off. Off does not. Does two. It doesn't feel like a five. That. Five. <laughs> huh? Dogs? It takes a moment for Dia's eyes to adjust to the bright sunlight. Do you like it? Ugh. <sighs> it's a dog park. Can we even go through and we don't have a dog? Yeah. I found this place by accident back when I ran away from home. A few weeks ago, Min ran away from home because she didn't want to eat a tomato. Dude, that is such a legit reason to run away from home. No, it's not, kids. Don't do it. No, it, like, I'm saying when you're a kid, and you're like, and you're like, oh no, like, my parents, like, found, like, a pair of socks out of place and got mad, so now I have to run away because I've disappointed them forever. <laughs> Park is divided into two sides. There's a sign above one of the gates. It reads, small dogs only, under 30 pounds. Oh my god, they have it separated by weight. Under 30 pounds, that's so cute. Which side do you want to see? Big dogs. Big dogs! Min swings the gate open and gestures for Dia to go ahead. Ladies first. There's so many dogs. They're all friends with each other. Dog friends! I've died and <laughs> gone to heaven! A husky trots up to Dia with a frisbee in its mouth. He drops it at Dia's feet and looks up at her expectantly. He wants me to throw it! Dia sets down the bike and hurls the frisbee as hard as she can. The dog gallops after it. He catches it with a running leap, zooms straight back to her, and drops it at Dia's feet again. He's wagging his tail so hard that his butt shakes. <laughs> what a good dog! He's so talented! Dia is almost crying. Are you happy? This is the best day of my life. This is all a trick by Pennywise, I know it. <laughs> I can't we're get it still, out of my we're head. We're still in the tunnel. I know. That's why I think I'm just all like, those uh, all those dogs that are running around. They're actually just the spirits of children that he's already eaten. It's just another hallucination he's making. Yeah. You're welcome. Do you want to try throwing the frisbee? No, it's fine. I like watching you do it. Okay. Dia throws the frisbee again. The dog tears off after it with such gusto that the grass goes flying behind him. Hey, Dia. If you want, you can live in my house when we grow up. I'll buy you all the dogs you want. All the dogs? All the dogs. And I'll get to see you every day. I'll drive you around in my Corvette and make everyone jealous. Drive the dogs around too. They can wear goggles so the wind doesn't sting their eyes. Yeah, sure. Whatever you want. We'll be so far from our parents that we never have to see them again. And if we go somewhere with snow, you can throw snowballs towards me and I'll punch them all out of the air. It'll look pretty cool. Wow, great plan. Okay, let's do it. Really? Are you sure? Min reaches out and gently cups Dia's face with her palms. <laughs> What's happening? This is great. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Dia hits her alarm and flops face first into bed. Her morning routine includes lying in bed for 10 minutes thinking about how tired she is. Do it. <laughs> I didn't realize it back then, but now that I think about it, that was really. Could it be that I'm a, I'm a, les lesb <laughs> lesbian <laughs> <laughs> lesbian 
girls. <laughs> <laughs> this no. is like exactly how it happens too. You're like, wait a uh, second. Am I a lesbian? <laughs> am I am I a lesbian? Am I a lesbian tree? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, that's impossible. I don't feel that way about other girls at all. Because men looked and acted like that, and my heart must have confused her with a guy. Aww. Any girl would have felt something even if they were straight. And it was just her. Men was special, so she was an exception. Oh, dear. Come on, man. Well, Plus, it's like... It, I know, it sucks. It's like it's like in Mulan, where uh, what's-his-face is... The general thinks Ping is a dude? Yeah, Ping... Thing... And then he gets really, really upset because he was attracted to Ping that whole time, and then he goes, wait a second, you're a woman? And then he gets really confused and runs away. Yeah. And then he comes to terms, he's like, okay, so Mulan is gender queer. That's fine. I'm, I'm attracted yep. to Mulan and Ping. Doesn't matter. I'm bisexual. It's fine. Mm-hmm. And that's what the story arc of Mulan is. And if you tell and me I'm wrong, And there's nothing you... else in it. It doesn't touch on any other topics, really. <laughs> well, Just... I mean, other than the fact that Mulan is gender fluid. But that's literally what happened. The general guy fell in love with Ping and was like, had a really big dilemma about him being gay. And then he found out he's just bisexual. Just bisexual? I meant not, you know what I meant. <laughs> he's like, am I gay? Wait, Ping's a woman? I don't know how to feel anymore. And then he runs away. And that's why he leaves all mad. Mm -hmm. And then all of Mulan's friends are like, what's the big deal, man? Just yeah, chill there's, out. Yeah, there's no big deal, man. It's all good. <laughs> We're going to dress as women now. Because mm -hmm. we want to. Something like that that will never happen again. So it doesn't count, right? If men hadn't moved away, what would have happened? So basically, Diaz going through the same emotional dilemma as the general from whatever, right? No. From Mulan? No. Unless you're saying that Min is actually a guy. No. So she, so Dia, never mind. You know what? Everybody's gay. <laughs> After ten minutes, Dia unenthusiastically peels herself off the mattress and stands. <sighs> My classmate Akasha messaged me. Check your computer. Hey, Dia. Hey. Hey. What? What do you call a lesbian with long nails? Single. Oh my god. <laughs> that made me clench my vagina. <laughs> Dia has gone offline. <laughs> off <line. laughs> Dia goes outside. Hey, Dia. If I were an enzyme, I'd be a I'd be DNA hella case, so I'd be DNA hella case, so I could unzip your jeans. Oh my god! <laughs> so in case you guys don't know, when DNA is being copied for cell reproduction, it like basically unzips the DNA, so more can be made. And <sighs> yeah, because it like it like unzips the two halves and then like copies them into like new things. Yeah, but we should still be ashamed. <laughs> Dia briskly begins walking away without her. <laughs> Man, you're not even trying. The optimal counter flirt would be, then I'll be your topo, topo, topo so marries. Topo so marries. Topo so marries to help you relieve your tension. No one in their right mind would respond with that. Hey, you know, I'm just kidding, right? When there's no one around to flirt with, I flirt with you just to practice. It's not funny. Aw. In her haste to catch up with Dia, Karsha trips over a crack in the sidewalk. Parkour! Hardcore parkour. The Prop 8 supporters are back at it again. <laughs> Defend marriage! Yes on Prop 8! Protect the children! Gay sex is the- oh, so. It's in, actually. Gay sex is cover, in! If you cover the S, it's in. <laughs> hey, Dia. Imagine biting into a gusher the size of your hand. <gasps> that sounds that delicious. That sounds amazing. I want it. I love gushers. That would be... Stacey, I have a confession to make. I bought a box of gushers, but I ate them all before you managed to come over. No, no, no. It's okay. I totally understand because I would, I would have done the same thing. Bought them two days ago. 
That's is, way that's way too long. They didn't make it. Stay you safe. can't you can't be expected to hold on to them for that long. I'm like I'm like I'll just have one packet. You know I'll that, just but, have another one. Okay, but you know that when I usually buy candy, I usually buy like, you know, like what could be considered like four days of candy and eat it all in one sitting. That's is there just another, I don't understand how people just have one candy. They're like, oh yeah, I'll just have one candy. I'm like, what? It depends on the type of candy. There's like <laughs> certain types of candy where I'm like, I have one piece and I'm like, okay, this is good. And then there's other types where it's like, like once you pop, you just can't stop. <laughs> like my therapist has candy at her office, but I never eat it because I know that if I eat one piece, I'll just be eating her all her candy the entire appointment. Yeah. And I'm like, I'll just be like shoving it in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you take the toilet paper. <laughs> Like I could have like a, I could have like a mint or like a Jolly Rancher or something Ugh. like that. Whoever just just like mint chocolate is a sin against God. I've never had mint chocolate. Good because it's a good thing you hate chocolate because you never had to be subjected to it's just this disgusting, chocolate. horrible sin against humanity and war crime that is mint chocolate. I, I'm the, mad the about thing, it. The only thing comparable that I can think of is like menthol cigarettes. When I, like, accidentally had, I, so, I used to smoke, and, like, when you'd accidentally get a menthol, you'd be like, oh! Smoking isn't cool, kids. Smoking That's why Stacy didn't want to do it anymore, because it wasn't cool. Smoking is bad. Smoking isn't cool. That's why Stacy was like, <laughs> okay, you don't she have was to like, get... oh my god, smoking's not no, cool. No, 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 no. you know what I said? put the cigarette out. Do, do you know what I said? I was like sitting there one day smoking a cigarette and then all of a sudden I was like, oh my god, winners don't use drugs. And I put it out and never had another one again. That's what I did. But we're being serious. Don't do it. <laughs> Stacey's laughing. Don't smoke cigarettes. Don't do it. If you have to do it, vape. But even then, I'm not down with it. Okay, kids? <laughs> you don't need it. Dia imagines it. Nicotine doesn't even do anything. You just need it to get by. What? It's like I I never understood the appeal of cigarettes and I can I can see why like I understand that people get addicted to them, but I never understood why people started them to begin with because I was like they oh. don't do anything. Yeah, they definitely do, but okay. What do you mean? Like, do they do it as like... That's like saying, like, I don't understand why people drink. Alcohol doesn't do anything. So it's like the same level of, like, differentiating your brain than as alcohol? Um, well, I mean, like, if we really want to get into this, like, nicotine is, one, a stimulant. So for people who have, like, anxiety, that's one of the biggest reasons that people get addicted is because they smoke, like... And it, and it helps with their anxiety. And then once you get addicted, it would literally be like if you said to somebody, just stop taking your anxiety medication. And it's hard because then you have to deal with feelings again. Wait, it's I like, thought the stimulant would make it so it was like, would make your anxiety worse because it's making you more. At the end of the day, don't start smoking because then you'll have to quit smoking. And that's hard. It's the same, it's the same as like any other drug that people use like to make themselves calm or you know I fully understand that it's super addictive I just always thought oh cigarettes you just it's like coffee or something um and I mean like some people think they taste good and like there's also I, I mean like I, I don't know why we're really getting into this but like because I have a complete lack of understanding of certain drugs yeah um I I always liked the way it felt to smoke like even though I know it's bad. That's um, why that's why vaping is popular, even if it doesn't have nicotine. People will still vape because they like the actual feeling of like smoking. I like vaping, but it makes me cough. It's because you're a pussy. I know. I have very delicate <laughs> lungs. But I think it's fun to You're not blow like the me who already out. has like like blackened husks. <laughs> I'm sure your lungs aren't that bad. I'm sure they're fine. And okay. you haven't smoked cigarettes in what, five years? Uh, I don't think it's been five years, but it's been a, it's been it's at least been a couple, it's been at least a couple years. It was before, before, it's been five years. I think so. No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, Any, you switched anyways, to Anyways, cool. Cool. I want one. Right? We're here. Don't do drugs. 
Don't do drugs, please. I, I would feel really her. bad if somebody did drugs because they heard us talking about drugs. Dia, blah, blah, blah. There's bitter melon in Noel's stir fry today. Dia and Noel both hate bitter melon. Dia hefts her books and binders into her backpack. Alright, I can go to class now. <laughs>